is on. Tap in. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Just about to put it off. Is that not on. Yeah, what it do, besties? Welcome back to the afternoon situation. I am Leisha B. Hi, hi, you darn. Hopefully you're doing well so far. And you know what? I ain't even really gonna start talking for real. Like it's turned up Tuesday, so we might as well just get over to the fun. So lock in with me, bestie. We're here until seven o'clock on the. Your daily dose of pop culture, the Lituation Report on Magic 104.9. Grand Rapids, number one for hip hop and RB. ASAP Rocky fans had to wait more than half a decade for this album, and now the wait is finally almost over because on August 30th, he'll be dropping his fourth album, Don't Be Dumb. Now, we know a lot, but also we don't know a lot because we know the title, we don't know the meaning behind it, and we haven't seen a cover reveal. We also know that it's been delayed because of a bunch of leaks, but we also know that none of the leaks will be on the project. And we don't really know any of the track list, but we do know that people like Lil Yachty, Miguel, John Baptiste, Tyler, the creator, Pharrell, Thundercat, Hit Kid, and so many more are going to be a part of the album. So, are you excited for it, even though you really don't really know what you're getting into? And last but certainly not least, speaking of not knowing what you're getting into, Ye and Ty Dolla Sign have finally updated Vultures 2 just days after it was released and have more surprises in store. The first significant update to the album came yesterday with a number of changes to six out of the 16 songs. The updates are not over. They'll be coming in real time with more surprises on the way. So if you want more details as they come out, tap into that Magic 104.9. Grand Rapids number one for hip-hop, Magic 104.9. I'm Lisha B, and your name rings bells and holds weight. But what if I told you that your parents were supposed to name you something else? Or were you supposed to be naming something else? So today's family chat is all about that. What did your parents almost name you? Now, child, for me, my name was almost about to be Aviva. Now, while that name is so beautiful and I would love it, my mama's name is Aviva. So I would have been Aviva Jr. Shout out to my grandmother for understanding the assignment and naming me Alicia. But clearly I was not the only one who was almost about to be named something else because my girl Tia said that she was almost named Atlantis. And girl, I'm not gonna lie to you. You may want to run that back. That's a pretty name. Valerie hit me up saying that her parents almost named her Moesha. Yes, after the show. And you know what? It might have been a slay. But last but certainly not least, I think that this is the funniest one I've seen in the app so far. My girl Wynn let me know that her mama loves basketball and almost named her Baskabia. I don't know if I'm saying that right but baby, huh. be glad about the name Win. But if you want more details and want to get into the conversation, DM me right now in the Magic 1049 app. Grand Rapids number one for hip hop, Magic 1049. And this time around, T.I.'s name is in the headlines, not because of anything he did wrong, but because of somebody else out here using his God given name. Now, on Monday, TMZ broke the news that T.I. was taken into custody at the Atlanta airport. And we were probably all like, dang, what did Tip do? He's been chilling. We ain't heard from him in a while. But it looks like authorities had a warrant from Maryland for a man that shares the same government name as the rapper and a case concerning violence towards a woman and stalking. So they just accidentally mistakenly booked T.I. instead of the actual man whose actual name is Clifford. Which makes sense because that's the same name as T.I. But he was taken to Clayco's jail where he had an extradition hearing when the mistake was confirmed and he was released hours later. As of right now, T.I. hasn't said anything but you know that man loves to speak. So I would not be shocked if that man says something very soon. But it definitely belongs to the streets because don't be locking up the wrong people, okay? If you want to get all the details, it's all waiting for you right now in the Magic 104. Nine it's time for the 616 check-in on Magic 104.9. Grand Rapids, number one for hip-hop and R&B. All right, besties, let's get into the tea, because did you notice that a bunch of lights around Southeast Grand Rapids were out this morning? I don't really know if they're a back active, but if you did not see the tea, go ahead and type into that My Magic GR app, because Burton, a lot of other places near Division, I mean, even Bridge Street was a little messed up. So get all the details in the My Magic app, and last but certainly not least, Michigan voters will be going to the polls for the state primary today, choosing who will make them November ballot for the U.S. Senate run, the U.S. House races, the state legislative races, and so many more. In-person polls are open today from 7 o'clock until 8 p.m. So you have plenty of time to get into the bags and poll. So if you want to find out your polling places, visit the Michigan Secretary of State's Voter Information Center website. It's also waiting for you at MyMagicGR.com. Also, do not forget... This is a primary election, so stay in your lane. That means that you can vote and you can't vote in both parties' primaries. If you swap back and forth between the Democratic and Republican columns, your ballot will not count. So don't play. Get all the details that you need to know about voting today on the My Magic GR. 
Grand Rapids number one for hip hop, Magic 1049. But Metro Boomin is giving back to his hometown in a major way, all in the name of his mother's legacy. He's been uplifting women in St. Louis, and I gotta tell you about this because he's been making a generous donation of $100,000 to five nonprofit organizations in his hometown that focus on supporting single mothers like his mom. Through his partnership with Rung for Women and Amazon Access, Metro has directed his donation to directly alleviate the financial challenges faced by women across his city. These organizations, including Almost Home, Diamond Diva Empowerment Foundation, the Haven of Grace, the Little Bit Foundation, and Parents as Teachers all receive $20,000 each. The funds will go towards providing support for things like child care, rent, debt reduction, and just letting the heavy bird that women often bear alone. I love what Metro is doing, and if you want to get tapped into all the details, hit up that Magic 1049 app.